Hello everyone! Today I'll introduce you to making composite images. This is an example of a composite image. As you can see, you can replace a photo and create a mockup. The app I'm going to use is called RStudio Pro. I find this app the best when it comes to composite images. It functions almost the same as the Photoshop app. I call this app the Almost Photoshop app. You might find a bit difficult to use in the beginning, but once you get used to it, you'll find it super handy, so I really want you to give it a try. Alright, let's start. First, open R Studio Pro. It should look like this on the screen. Now, we need to go ahead and get an image of the iPad, which will be the base image. I'm on the official Apple Store website, and there are many images of iPads here. Feel free to choose your favorite one out of them. Once you've decided, take a screenshot of it. This time, I'm going to take a screenshot of this one. The screenshot is horizontal, so the top and the bottom parts look a bit elongated. Here's a screenshot with my iPad set vertically. And this will be my base image. Now go back to RStudio Pro. And from the plus button at the upper right, create a new canvas from new entry. I don't think the canvas size need to be as big this time, so I'm going to go with 1420 for the width. Once you've created your canvas, import the screenshot from earlier. Open your camera roll on the right using split view. Drag and drop the screenshot you took earlier here. A list of options will be displayed where you can choose either import as a new document or import as a new layer. These options allow you to create a brand new document or add a layer to the existing working file. This time I'm going to select the second option, import as a new layer. Now that I've imported the image, I can see that it's too big, so I'm going to adjust the size. I'll select Edit from the top bar, then choose Transform. Adjust the size by interacting with the border like this. Once we fix the size, we want to replace the photo of the screen display on the iPad. Before we do that, we need to address parts of the background that aren't completely white. I'm going to fix the background by using the eraser tool. You can choose whatever image you want to replace the current image on the iPad screen. I'm going to select this profile picture so it will look like me working on my profile picture on the iPad display on the screen. So I'm going to take a screenshot again. Once you've taken a screenshot, Go back to the image of the iPad, drag and drop the image from your camera roll as we did before. Drag and drop the screenshot from right to left, and tap import as a new layer like last time. From here, go to edit, choose transform, and now we adjust the size. When you want to alter the shape freely, Switch the scale option seen at the bottom to free. This enables you to move corners of the bounding box. Now you can adjust the image to fit into your iPad screen. Once you've done the steps above, we're going to change the tone, so add a new layer on top, select the gradation tool from the left. I'm going to create gradation that reflects lightning that shines from the left towards right. Select the layer of gradation, tap the gear icon where the clipping mask tab will eventually appear. 
Click on it. Now the gradation layer should be applied only to the layer below. Now we want to change the join mode, so switch here to overlay. This will create an effect that mimics lightning being reflected on the screen. Since it's too bright right now, I'm going to adjust the opacity here. The width or shape of gradation can be changed later as well, so just set them according to your preferences for now. At last, I'm going to put some handwritten letters to finish. There are so many kinds of brushes in RStudio Pro, and my favorite is an ink pen as it lets me write my fancy and cool signature, so feel free to try it if you can. Alright, it's complete! If you want to create a simple composite image like this one, it can be done quickly on your iPad. So I recommend it to everyone, especially designers. And if you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll be happy to answer them. So yeah, thank you for watching, and please subscribe! Bye bye!